Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and I'm so excited for today's video because I'm finally filming Little Man's nursery tour, so stay tuned. This room has truly been a labor of love. Alex and I have put a ton of time and effort into this room. There's also gifts on the wall from family and friends, things people have made and found for us for Little Man. So I'm really excited to share it, not only for all of my viewers on my channel, but also for my family and friends that watch these videos. I'll also be sharing today some of my best tips for decorating a nursery on a budget. Um, also, you don't have to DIY a ton of things, but I did do a sneak peek video that has a ton of step-by-step -step tutorials of how I did some of the things, so I will definitely link that up above and down below for you so you can check that out, and let's get started. So right as you come in the door, we have our shelves that we got from Ikea above this changing table. One of my favorite pieces in this area is this dresser that we're using for his changing table. We refinished this, we got this from Alex's grandpa. And what I really love is that you don't have to worry about the whole changing table situation at the top. We have hooked the changing pad onto it um, and so it's not going anywhere and so then that way this will transition with him when he no longer needs the changing tabletop it's just a dresser um, I've read a lot online that that is really kind of a more cost-efficient thing and for us it was great because it was free also here for functional setup on the left hand side back there we've got a hamper that came from Target it was a gift from the shower um, just kind of a woven hamper we can toss stuff in we also got a diaper genie now we actually just bought this this weekend this is a new just regular garbage can but what I love is it's motion activated so it's from Costco it stays open for a little bit of time it blinks down and then it shuts and so Alex was on the hunt for one so that we could have one for a lot of the non-super stinky diapers um, and then also garbage in here so we can kind of toss it right in there but it's nice because you can use it as hands-free instead of having to worry about like getting things open. As far as on top of here, we've got our changing pad. This is a really, really cute print you'll see throughout the nursery. It's from Copper Pearl. I'm obsessed with that brand. I love their fabrics. Their prints are super cute. They make bibs and swaddles and nursery linens and just a ton of stuff. And so I will link their site down below. They're also available on Amazon, which is great for prime shipping. That's what I did for a lot of these things, just on a regular changing pad. And then Molly Ollie brand actually sent me this caddy. And I really love it because it's got handles. And so you can kind of pick it up and take it with you. Um, but what I like is it matches the nursery. It's a felt fabric, so it washes easily. And I can kind of pick this up and take it anywhere. Right now, I kind of just have things hanging out in there until I know like logistically what's gonna work best. We've got our wipe holder here, and then um, some more burp cloths from Copper Pearl. We've got some from Hudson Baby, which is available at Walmart. And then I also grabbed a couple of these off of Amazon because I heard good things and reviews on them. Um, basically, you can just extend them, put them on top, on top. So you've got your changing pad, your cover, and then an additional cover. But from what I hear, it could get messy. So <laughs> we want to make sure that we have a couple of these. And then these are just easy to wash. So I've got that over there. And then for shelf decor, I kept it pretty simple. Some of these items were gifts. Some of these items were found on clearance. So starting at the top, the welcome to my crib sign is from Hobby Lobby. That actually came from Little Man's Uncle Reed. So my little brother, um, he went to Hobby Lobby one day and picked out a ton of stuff for myself, my mom, his fiance, all by himself. I was so proud of him. He said he was the only guy in Hobby Lobby that day, but he did so good. Um, the greenery is from Ikea. The little barn is from Target from Christmas clearance. And then same for these guys. They're little ornaments from Target, a squirrel and a fox. Then working our way down here, that sign, sweet boy, I made that in the DIY video that I've linked down below for you. Both of these are also clearance ornaments. I got them at Michael's, but they're super cute. They had a whole like woodland line. So they had foxes, a bear, and then I've got an elk on this other shelf. This little guy is from Ikea. It was super, super cheap. And then same for this little cloche. 
that's from Ikea as well. Everything that I can find online that wasn't like super clearanced out and no longer available, I will link for you down below. But then I also love, I took the third one of that little like wood carved ornament set and put it in there. This thing is nice, it just sits kind of over the top, but it adds a little character to the space. And then that frame I was so excited to find in the back, it's an 8x10, I got it at Hobby Lobby in like the 90% off like graveyard aisle. Um, I'm not sure why it was on super sale, it's not broken or anything, but then I just took the picture that we took to announce that I was pregnant. Um, you probably recognize that from the thumbnail if you've seen that video. And so obviously the plan is to have family pictures or pictures of him in here, but because I don't have any of those, we are leaving it right now as is. So the mirror is from Ikea, and that was a really good find because a lot of those I found were super expensive, and the one at Ikea that was like 20 bucks. So look around for stuff like that some more ikea shelves over here i've got a diy for that sign i will link that um, a lot of these are in other videos that little fox was a fall clearance item from hobby lobby um, i just really wanted to find a lot of the animals in here because that really gives it the whimsy feel i've got a bigger cloche up there and then in there is the elk and the bear michaels ornaments and then on this shelf, the diaper cake is from my shower. It is from Shovel Diaper Cakes on Etsy. I will link her information down below. She's actually local out here um, in kind of North Central Illinois where I live. And I love this thing. I cannot pull it apart. Like there's a ton of diapers in there and my aunt made sure I knew they were pampers if we wanted to use them, but it is so cute. So I love that it is part of the decor in the room. The love you more sign is Target dollar spot. Target is the letter board. The stuff over here, these blocks are actually Bye Bye Baby. I've been using them on my Instagram and I've gotten questions on, you know, where do they come from? They're Bye Bye Baby, I did not DIY them. And then this was a clearance find at Joann's. It actually has a slit so you could put pictures in it if you want to. And then this cute guy is from Hobby Lobby. Another tip for nursery on a budget is to shop your own house. So we had a ton of stuff at our house that I could use for this room that wasn't being used in another room. So for example, this lamp here, I just put on a new lampshade that came from Ikea and then it worked out perfect over here. This frame where right now I have a picture of our gender reveal in it. This actually was given to me by um, my friend Taylor when she got married. This was part of my like bridesmaids proposal. Um, and so I had kept that, but I thought that she would love that that was being used in the baby nursery. Um, and then some different organizational things from Dollar Tree. This is an Ikea one. I've got a basket from Hobby Lobby and then a basket. That one also came from Taylor from our shower gift. And then some kind of overflow books here at the bottom. This whole shelf I DIY'd from kind of a... It was essentially a garage sale find area down here I'm hoping to use for kind of some like a breastfeeding station. One of the things I absolutely wanted to have in here were these book ledges. I really like how they brighten up the room. It gives it a little bit of whimsy without looking too cluttered. And I also like that once he gets a little bit older, he'll be able to point at the books that he likes and wants to read and then we can take them down. This book here in the back, this Richard Scary book was actually given to us at the shower um, and it's signed by Ben, my nephew. So that is like super sentimental to have up there because I'm so excited to see the two of them together. Um, so just a lot of fun books here on the ledges and this is also a project that was in that DIY video So check that out if you want to see how I did those this chair is actually an Amazon find My parents were nice enough to get this for us for the nursery I really like it because it swivels it rocks and the legs come out um, And I also like that it doesn't look like a nursery chair So then that way once we don't need it up here We can move it to different parts of our house so we can get some additional use out of it and then I recently I recently hauled this really cute um, little rug for from the Dollar Tree, so I want to put that there. We also have a little buddy down here. He loves hanging out in this room, so I think he's gonna have a field day when his brother's here and he can hang out with him. This table was actually in here when it was my office, same with this lamp, so obviously we're gonna have to move this lamp when he's able to get up and, you know, get out of the crib. Um, or reach that but for right now I think this light will be nice because it's got a soft like orangey light in there for 
um, feedings. Another um, clearance ornament. For some reason, Christmas is a great time to grab woodland stuff. So if you're expecting and this is close to that time, definitely check it out. And then this is kind of random, but it's very sentimental. So I figured that would be a good little like catch-all area for a couple items for nursing, etc. But the You Are My Sunshine saying, my mom sang this to my brother and I when we were little. Um, I just remember like if we were sick or whatever, she would sing that to us to get us to go to sleep. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, that'll be perfect for the nursery. So it's yellow on the inside. It doesn't match at all. <laughs> but um, because I saw that at Home Goods, I was like, you know, that needs to be in the nursery. So sometimes with decor, you kind of just have to do what you got to do. And, you know, if it speaks to you, put it in the room. And then this wall is our big gallery wall. And I will take you through because I'm sure there'll be questions on where each item came from, but we really wanted to have kind of a focal wall. And also the thing was we wanted to make sure that we could put it somewhere where we could pull something away from the wall um, if we need to. Also for the sake of everything is totally in a stud, 100%, but also just for safety, we've pulled the crib away from the wall. So I didn't go too nuts with crib stuff. Um, I've actually used some of the items that we've gotten as gifts to kind of decorate it. So the crib itself is a Fisher Price crib from Wayfair. We got this from my mother-in-law, so Alex's mom. And then this is the copper pearl crib sheet that matches the diaper changing pad cover. These little lovey blankets are also copper pearl. They're so soft. These are just like little squares. Um, I'm just using them there so that I can you know, just cover this corner. <laughs> as far as decor, they came in a pack of two. I thought this was really cute for a nursery. Um, this was recently in the Target dollar spot and the gray matched perfectly over here. This is a clearance pillow um, I got, I think for like $11 or something at Target. Um, obviously this will all come out when he sleeps in here, um, but I want to have a little bit of something in there for now. The I Love You blankets also from Target. I just love that. It'll be nice um, for wrapping him up, also to put on the ground for playtime, that kind of stuff. And then this, this little guy is what sparked this whole display on the wall. So this is a muskie. It came from the muskie hunter booth at a fishing show that Alex went to. If you don't know my husband, he is a big fisherman. And so we wanted to figure out, obviously the woodland theme goes along with fish. I saw on Pinterest, um, someone had done this with a paddle and a kind of like a you know, fake stringer because those are just clips at the top. And so we went on Amazon. All of these are from Cabin Critters. I will link them down below. Um, and the plan is to put little man's name up here on the paddle once we know that. A couple other details on things on the wall. So the Stay Little Little Man sign came from little man's Auntie Virginia. Um, she's been my best friend since I was in fourth grade. Um, so she got that for him. Um, the arrows are also from Hobby Lobby. The sign came from Hobby Lobby, but she gave it to us. That really cute rustic frame up there, it just has a maternity picture in it um, until we get another picture, but that was actually a wedding gift from our photographers. Um, so that was another piece that we were trying to figure out where does it fit perfectly in our house and this wall is where it's at. The Be Brave sign is also from Hobby Lobby. Same with the bear, the bear up there. Um, my mom got that for the wall. I made that decal actually. Um, I will link the PNG file down below if you want to cut it out. I needed something to fill that space but I didn't necessarily want to hang one more thing on the wall. Um, so that worked out really good. I really like the saying from Little Seeds Grow Mighty Trees. And then we've got a letter board which we'll figure out what we want to put on that when the time comes. And so then this is the wall next to the crib on the other side. And I didn't want to leave it bare but we also have a huge like vent return here so you can't put like anything in the wall to hang it so we split the difference we hung the baby monitor and then also these little hooks that came from hobby lobby i'm thinking we can use these for like his little towels and things but right now we've got two blankets hung up um little man's aunt caitlin actually made these for him such a cute fabric so i just hung those there to kind of fill out the wall and then I created this with my Cricut. And so I loved this saying, um, but I was kind of debating on do I put an actual Winnie the Pooh cutout and I decided to do just a bear and some trees there. Um, but I really love the saying and it helped fill out that wall without actually having to like screw or nail in anything over there. 
And then finally, we've got his closet. So I've tried to keep this as organized as I can, um, but we've got stuff and, you know, it'll probably just see how well this will work when he gets here. Um, so up here, I just have some Dollar Tree organizational stuff. I've got onesies and things up here, um, some different supplies for breastfeeding, all of the clothes from newborn all the way up through like nine months. The rest of it I have in kind of like a back stock area. Um, and then we also have clothes downstairs from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law from when Ben was little. So we've got clothes, which is great because I hear they'll go through a lot of clothes. <laughs> And then um, we've got some different organizational things here. I got these from Walmart online. They're just like canvassy containers um, with the little arrows and the um, deer slash buck on them. Um, so I will link those down below. The little dude sign is another one from Uncle Reed. And then just some different um, things down here for organization. We got this cube organizer at Target. And then it's nice because you can just kind of pull those things out. Um, and we have also got some additional storage over here for some items that we'll use when he gets here. But it's a lot easier to store them in the box for right now than to get them all out. So I need to add a couple like um, labels to these because I forget what I put in each thing. Um, but it's nice to know, okay, like here's all of his like soft plushy toys. Here's some like... I think that's actually a catch-all to be completely honest with you. I've got extra sheets and things down there, um, toys, so a lot of different things in here, um, but it's nice to kind of keep everything organized. So there you have it, the nursery reveal. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys. When is that gonna be up? So I'm really excited that I finally was able to get everything done in here and get the video up just in the nick of time because this week marks 38 weeks of pregnancy. So really we could go at any time. Who knows, I could be talking to you at 40 weeks plus. So we will just have to see. If there's anything in here that I forgot to link or mention and you're interested in, just leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you are excited to meet Little Man. I know we definitely are. And um, once he gets here, we will definitely be sure to share all of the news with you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you for all of the well wishes that you've sent to our family, especially for a safe delivery of Little Man. We'll see when that happens and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!